Hi, my name is Audra. I'm starting this channel called Oddly Specific with Audra. I say oddly specific, which ironically I don't know what I want my channel to specifically go into. I have a plethora of ideas and I want to kind of go over a little bit of who I am and that way you can kind of gauge what topics you want me to cover or where this channel may go in the future. Um, first thing with basics, I am an atheist liberal that lives in Alabama. I have four older brothers, three of them are kind of on opposing sides of the spectrum as me, but we all get along really well and I have a pretty tight-knit family. Kind of surprising, but <laughs> it happened. Um, I have 14 nieces and nephews between uh, my four brothers. I myself am intentionally childless and my tubes are tied. I have two dogs and a cat, so animal household. This is my dog Castiel. He is very angry and very depressed all the time, but he's pretty sweet and he thinks I'm his girlfriend. He gets really jealous of my husband. I've been married for a year. <laughs> um, I'm 37 and we've only been dating since I was around 32, 30, maybe 30. Anyways, we've been together since 2013, so eight years, and I'm really grateful that I waited to get married when it made sense and not because I was lonely or bored or thought I was missing out. I have been playing role-playing games or RPGs um, since a kid, probably about nine, and I probably picked up comics about the same time. I read comics a little bit before Batman the Animated Series came out. I prefer Dungeons and & Dragons and Shadowrun are my two preferred wheelhouses, but I've also played a few different superhero games, Pathfinder, um, Savage Worlds, a lot of different uh, systems. <laughs> As far as comic books, I am a Gotham City kid. I prefer DC Comics. I like Marvel. There's a handful of things in Marvel I decently like. Really into WandaVision lately. <laughs> but um, for the most part, I like orphans just fighting on a roof somewhere. That's more my stick. And I think that's probably part of me appreciating the human condition and just liking the emotional aspect of everything. Once it's aliens and world dominations and the big picture and mass extinction, you kind of lose me. I like this type of interaction. I like true crime, I like comic books, I like movies, I like film, I like TV, I like the arts in general. Um, I like um, societal topics, I like talking a little bit about politics and the economy. So really looking forward to deep diving into some random issues with you guys and curious to see where this goes. I really enjoy a good internet wormhole. Uh, true crime, I can lose hours. Uh, I've gotten into quantum physics and astrophysics uh, pretty recently. A little bit of quantum theory, um, the theory of relativity. I like that stuff and that's something if you had a gun to my head and said, hey, go get a college degree and get a job, that might be something I would pick. It's something I'm very interested in. Other than that sort of science field, I'm also interested in counseling or therapy. I enjoy talking to people and empathizing and kind of strategizing logical ways to proceed in life. So I think that would be something I'm pretty decently adept for, but I have no professional training of any kind right now. As far as things I do, um, I am in the vein of writing, being creative, I do some art. Um, I'm trying to hone new hobbies and hone new talents and crafts. This year I'm mostly working on work ethic and trying to produce more than think about it. I've always been a uh, keep it on the back burner and in the back of my mind sort of creative. And uh, 2021 I'm trying to really put a lot of things into action as opposed to just thinking about it for the rest of my life. Get it out of my head, get it on paper. Two of the things I'm thinking about working on are a comic that I've been thinking about for literally 10 to 15 years, as most creatives have done. Um, I'm going to try to start drawing more on that, writing it out more. Um, it's a DC Comics fan fiction type thing. I can't sell it, so I'm probably just going to create it and put it out there. Um, I do have a lot of it written, and um, I'm also currently writing the season 6 of Quantum Leap. Looking forward to tricking Scott Bakula into coming back for a few episodes. I have a really decent idea and a decent pitch, and that's something else I want to get on paper this year. 
being from Alabama and not being a conservative Christian mother of a million soccer mom family homemaker southern bell type obviously I've met people who I'm on the other side of the coin then um, I definitely have a lot of people that have differences in opinion to me that I'm really good friends with and I think um, something that surprises them is they'll come to me saying oh you're an atheist Ooh. and then after they know me for all they're like you're really moral like you have a lot of values that I agree with and identify with or you're a liberal Ooh. hey when you explain why you believe a b and c I get how you got there and even if I may not fully agree with what you said were your values I see how you got there and I respect it and they can kind of open up to me in a way that I'm not judgmental about the differences and people seem to always walk away kind of surprised at how accepting or understanding or um, empathetic I am to the differences we have. So I'd like to take that sort of mentality and elevate it to a platform to kind of discuss things with strangers. Something that's unique about me is I don't like stereotypes. I don't like painting a group of people with a broad brush. I don't hate people, I hate actions. Let's get into the weeds and discuss who this person is, what they specifically did, what their motivations were, and how we can correct that problem. If you tell me all so-and-sos do blank, that's not an argument I can have. That's not provable, it's not even something that's addressable. I want to know about this specific person doing this specific thing, and let's look at that situation. And once you can understand why one individual could do something, then you have that in your toolbox to understand why tons of people could do the same thing. As an adult, I have had issues with anxiety and depression. Um, I was an emotional teenager somewhat, but I've always been pretty level-headed. And most people that know me wouldn't know that I have issues with depression or anxiety. I am typically very controlled, come across very matter-of-fact and easygoing, and I'm pretty good at keeping things close to the vest, but I do it more so as respect or politeness than I do I don't like talking about it. I'm an open book. Um, I actually joke about I am compulsively honest. If you keep me talking long enough, I'll tell you everything I know. I am a hard person to talk crap about other people with. That's something that has come up multiple times in my life where I think I'm hard to bond with initially because I'm so even keel, I'm not tribalistic, and I'm very pragmatic in how I think about things. So if you come up to me and say, hey, Josie's being a jerk, have you seen about he did A, B, and C? My first thought is, huh, I've done A, B, and C before. They might be going through this type of situation, or they may have had this happen earlier, which caused them to give you um, a less than satisfactory experience earlier. And then you're like, Audra, you're just supposed to tell me they're a jerk. Why are you making this difficult? I'm not good at it. I'm not good at just bashing people because I typically can see the other side of the coin, even if it wasn't a desirable outcome. So I think having that sense of empathy will be a good platform to talk to people about the nuances of life and how nothing's really black and white and people shouldn't be as tribalistic or as lopsided in how they view things. That's roughly me in a nutshell. I know I went all over the place and ironically I gave you a bunch of labels and checkboxes about me um, and I say all that to say I don't like labels. I don't like putting everything in a box. Um, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson said once that he doesn't like claiming that he's atheist or agnostic, not because he doesn't technically qualify as that, but because once you say I'm an atheist, people immediately auto-populate a bunch of beliefs you must have. Same thing with if you say I'm a liberal or I'm Republican, people auto-populate all your stances and all your opinions about different things. And I just think things are way more nuanced than that. I like going into the weeds and talking specifically one item at a time and kind of going through and finding out what we're really dealing with. Like, what are we really talking about? So I look forward to delving into a bunch of different topics with you. My dog also is excited. So that's my goal is to discuss random topics from all different aspects and try to get to objective truth about subjects that have confusion or questions about it.
I hope you guys are excited to go on this journey with me, and um, please leave comments below or email me at oddlyspecificwithaudra at gmail.com, and let me know what types of things you want me to look into for you, if you have any questions about me you have, or if you have any topics you want me to cover. I look forward to starting this uh, journey with you guys. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.